Hey guys, it's Princess2969. I'm checking back in. Um, I just wanted to share with you a real quick collective haul of just a few items that I have gotten in the last, I'd say, one or two months. So I just wanted to run through these things very quickly because I have some other videos that I need to record that I have to catch up on since I'm making up for lost time. Um, I'll just go right into it and just get started. Um, the things that I've collected happens to be from a number of sources, but mostly drugstore makeup from Walgreens. Um, the other sources where I picked up some of these items that I'm about to share with you guys is also from Sally's Beauty Supply, Ulta, um, as well as, I guess you can say, um, Walgreens, another drugstore that I like to um, shop at. Well, basically that's the main one that I shop at, but I also pick up a couple of things from CVS. So I'm just going to get right into it so that I can share with you guys what I have gained. Um, the first items that I am going to show you came from Ulta. Um, I never tried this before and I always wanted to. So I went ahead and picked up an eyeshadow base by NYX and I believe this one is in skin tone. And it looks like that. Skin tone. It works fairly good. I like it. Um, as you can see, I've only used a little bit of it so far. It's just a little dab because um, I'm addicted to Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I pretty much use that on a daily basis. Um, the other item that I picked up from Ulta also happens to be the Barbie Stila Smudge Pot. And this one is in Purple Pumps. And I actually love that hologram. Isn't that cute? It's a Barbie thing. So this one is called Purple Pumps. And it's so gorgeous. Oh wow. It's a beautiful purple color. As you can see I haven't used it yet. And I bought this about a month ago. So I have yet to use it. But I will use it in a tutorial. These, I guess this one item is from Sally's Beauty Supply. I've never tried Femme Couture cosmetics before. And I wanted to at least pick up one item that caught my eye. And this one is a mineralized eyeshadow in Aruba Blue. And it's really, really pretty. It's such a gorgeous shimmery blue um, turquoise color. It's just really, really pretty. Okay, the next group of products that I purchased happen to be from eBay. I will post individual links from each seller that I bought these things from. Um, I bought a Smashbox um, concealer. Um, this one is really, really dark, so I just use this one for contouring. And like I said, that's a Smashbox concealer. And as you can see, it's like a mocha. It's almost like a dark chocolate. <laughs> I like to use it to contour my face. Um, the next item that I bought was a Chanel mini lipstick, which I, I love these because you can fit these into your purse pocket or even in your back pocket if you don't really want to carry around a purse. And it's so tiny and so little. Um, this color that I purchased is called Emotion number 17. It's such a neutral, pale, like peachy color. It's really, really pretty. It's like a soft, peachy rose pink color. The next item that I bought was a MAC paint pot in Constructivist, and it looks like that. I can open it up for you. And as you can see, I've only swatched it a couple of times, but it's a really frosted mocha-like latte type of um, eye base color. Really, really pretty. I like that one. I also picked up a full-size jar of MAC pigment, and this is um, authentic MAC pigment. I made sure of it this time. <laughs> This one is called Tea Time, and it looks like that. You can actually see that at the bottom. And it's a really, really pretty, soft, neutral, almost like a malt chocolate type of color. The next item that I picked up is a MAC Single Eyeshadow in Glamour Check. I love this one because it is a frost. Um, this one is a Star Flash color, and it looks like that really really pretty nice shimmer to it too I love to use it for neutral looks especially when I use it with the amber lights eyeshadow this one was a big disappointment to me because I actually thought this was an authentic product I asked the seller several times if it was authentic but I will give the, the seller um, credit or some seller points for being an honest seller um, as far as shipping my product she shipped it promptly and I got it in the mail and if you were to hold this up to an actual authentic MAC compact, you can see a huge difference in the packaging. The lettering is much, much bigger 
on this compact as opposed to this one. And this is an actual um, MAC quad, eyeshadow quad. This is authentic. This one isn't. This is what I was disappointed about. Nonetheless, the colors are very pretty. They're really shimmery. And they look like that. But I rarely use it because I'm pissed off that I paid $32 for a fake MAC quad. So make sure you ask about your products, guys. Then what makes it so bad is they have the nerve to call this the Tempting Eyeshadow Quad with next to nothing sharp, dark edge, and tempting in it. Obviously, it's not. I know what that quad looks like. So I was very disappointed in this, but I got this from eBay. Fail. Um, other than that, I'm going to move on to the drugstore makeup that I've gained. Um, the first item is my Revlon blush brush. I absolutely love this brush. This is a blush brush that I use for um, blush application to the cheeks. It's really, really soft and it's of a good fiber quality. I paid $12.99 for this brush. I also bought an Eco Tools brush. It's just a regular, like, fat jumbo brush. It looks like this. Really soft quality. I only paid like $3.39 for it. So this is a good eyeshadow brush. Um, I bought two Wet n Wild Color Icon um, eyeshadows. These are supposedly, and this is what makes me laugh, this is supposedly limited edition. As you can see on the little tags on the back. This one is called Swelter. It's a beautiful gilded blue. And it looks like this inside the package. And then the other one um, is called Singe. And I don't even want to open this one up because the whole thing lifts out of the pan. And to prove it to you, that's the bottom of the pan and this is the eyeshadow in my hand. So what do you expect for $1.99, right? This is called Singe. I bought two Revlon single eyeshadows. One is a pearl, the other is a satin. The Revlon pearl is Black Galaxy, and the Rev Revlon Satin is Peacock Luster. It looks like that. It's like a really shimmery color. I bought two Wet n Wild Mega Mixers. I like these. These are really cute. They don't have a lot of moisturizing properties or any healing proper properties that's beneficial for the skin. So they just sit on your lips. But basically, if you just want something to, you know, coat your lips to keep them from just being dry, then I would recommend these very inexpensive and very cost effective um, mega mixers which are really just lip balms and I believe Wet n Wild has like over 20 like different like um, flavors or um, scents of these based on um, tropical drinks. This one um, by Wet n Wild is called Mango Margarita. They smell so good. Uh, very fruity. Very tropical. And it's like a peachy lip balm right there. The other one that I picked up, because I only picked up two, this one is called Tahitian Punch. And that balm looks like that. And as you can see, I use them quite a bit. Oh, they smell so good. <laughs> well, I would suggest you go to your, CV, your local CVS store and check them out because it's a part of the new Color Icon um, collection line by Wet n Wild. Um, the next thing that I want to move right along to is CVS since we're on that subject. Um, I'm not even going to lie. I am totally addicted to Milani's 3D Glitzy Glosses. And every freaking chance I get, I'm trying to pick up a bunch of these wherever I can. It's gotten to a point to where I am actually almost obsessing over these um, as far as keeping a bunch of them on hand. Um, so far, I have um, a bunch of them that I've um, picked up from my local CVS store. These are just three of the, the, the most common ones that I showed in the previous collection vid. And I'm telling you, if you want an exact dupe for Mac Dazzle glasses, these will be the one. I'm telling you right now, as God is my witness, these are exact dupes of the Mac Dazzle glasses. This one would be a perfect dupe for Love Alert. This one would be the perfect dupe for Like Venus Dazzle Glass. This one is called Starshine. The one that's a perfect dupe for Love Alert is called 44 in, uh, number 44 in Vogue. Um, the perfect one for MAC Dazzle Glass is Funtabulous, which happens to be my all-time favorite Dazzle Glass, would be Fashion Diva, number 39, by Milani. I picked up three more. Those are the regular ones that I've had in my collection. These three I just picked up from... CVS earlier this month. 
No, it was last month. Um, I believe around the 14th or the 15th I picked these up from CVS. Um, this one is absolutely gorgeous. This one is called Movie Star. This one is called Designer Label. And then the third one I picked up is number 45, Leading Lady. This is actually a backup of one that I already had. I use these quite a bit, um, even more so than I use my Mac Dazzle glasses because as you all know, Mac Dazzle glasses are not cheap. They're like $18 a tube and you only get so much in it. But I find these to be the perfect dupes or alternatives to Mac Dazzle glasses if you want to try something that's close in consistency and quality to those, these would be the ones. Other things I got from CVS is a black opal, um, beautiful bronze concealer stick. And it looks like this. My skin is very blemished. It's very sensitive. I live in Florida and it's hot here. So I, my skin endures a lot of suffering from heat and I get frequent breakouts and then my acne is so bad sometimes that when it does heal I get a lot of scarring in my face. So the concealers and the foundations that I use is perfect for covering up all of those acne scars and breakouts you know, on my skin. This one is called Flirty. I got this one from Walmart. Very pretty. NYC's New York Color Lipstick. And it's pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors, guys. The other two items I got from Walmart happens to be Hard Candy Glitter Liner. I got two of these. They're really, really pretty. I got one in silver and another in gold. This is what I got from QVC. Um, NYC's Lipstick Color in Blue Rose. I couldn't pass this up because this color is freaking gorgeous. Um, I haven't even broken the seal on it yet, but I just picked this one up about three weeks ago. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fuchsia pink. The other items I got from Walgreens, um, I just did a tutorial with this particular product. This is from the Wet n Wild Color Icon line, and this is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Palette in Vanity. And I did the Nicki Minaj inspired look with this pa with this palette, just using this only, because I want you girls to be able to have an alternative and all you divas in general that have a good inexpensive alternative to MAC products so that you can achieve the same look which is why I use this. I could have easily used MAC but I wanted to use this so that you guys can duplicate the same look with this palette. I also got a CoverGirl <laughs> mascara. Um, this one is in the purple too. Lash Blash Fusion and honestly I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I really don't care for this mascara. It's really, really harsh on my sensitive lashes. My lashes are really sparse as it is. And this is really, really harsh on my lashes. I prefer the mascara in the orange too. I keep it. Okay. One other thing that I forgot to mention that I had also acquired from eBay is um, this came from a seller. Um, he calls himself Train Conductor, I believe, and I bought a YSL single eyeshadow color from him. And this color is so pretty, I had been staring at it for a minute, and then I just decided one day, you know what, F it, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. It's number 13. It's just a little single eyeshadow color in there. It's like a jade green, and it has a little sponge applicator right there. But this color is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that or not. See the little imprint on the eyeshadow? And then it comes with its own little mirror compact, which I like. So I thought that was cute. And I paid $13.99 for this plus $1.99 shipping and handling. So that was a good deal. That was a good little quick pick-me-up. <laughs> um, like I said, I think his um, eBay username is Train Conductor or Conductor. And he sells a lot of high-end YSL single eyeshadows as well as lipsticks and Chanel. So that was on my last eBay purchase um, from eBay.